obviously the black bars are going to cover up some part of the video but like I said you can just move up the bars until you're happy with I would say this looks pretty good so I'm going to leave it how it is then what we're going to do like you guys also already seen in the thumbnail uh, we're going to go ahead and apply some color correction to it so I'm going to go to video effects <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys, as you guys clearly can see, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make your videos look like a Hollywood film because last two videos I did on this topic blew up like crazy, one has around 470k, the other one has almost 160k, so I thought why not make a video in Vegas 15, how to create an awesome uh, Hollywood effect kind of, you know, theme on any video possible, so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started so as you can see right now right here this is a city streets green screen for a uh, free stock footage video and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to go from this to this so it's gonna be really simple so I would say let's get started so the first thing that we're gonna do is obviously in pro you know probably any movie they have like cinematic bars you know all across the screen so I'll make those bars also available for download in the description you guys can check it out you can just you know download the black bars uh, right away that I used in this video so we're gonna start off with dragging those bars in all right guys so as you can see right now now the bars are in the project you can already think like dude like half of the screen is just covered up or not visible what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the event pan crop section of the clip and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this arrow is selected to uh, when it's pointing down, obviously. And then what you can do basically, you can drag uh, the clip down or you know or up, so more and more of the clip is becoming visible. So. Obviously, the black bars are going to cover up some part of the video, but like I said, you can just move up the bars until you're happy with. I would say this looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it how it is. Then what we're going to do, like you guys also already seen in the thumbnail, uh, we're going to go ahead and apply some color correction to it. So I'm going to go to video effects, and the reason that I'm not going to apply any external uh, color correction presets is because you probably you guys probably don't have that in your in your project uh, because you have to install them externally so we're gonna what we're gonna do for this project we're gonna go to video effects click on color uh, corrector and right here we have a lot of p presets to choose from now we're, what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna just go ahead and drag the default one on top of the clip and what we're gonna do then is we can see three of those markers I'm just gonna uh, make this uh, box a little bit smaller and then what you can do is you can you can uh, also choose presets now we have red midtones I'm just gonna go uh, through them one by one so if we go ahead and click on red midtones we can just go ahead and, and, and scroll down but I'm just gonna go ahead and look and see what they look like I think this is a little bit too green uh, blue midtones looks actually pretty cool uh, the uh, the red highlight is not really that much of a difference uh, the green highlight not you know either uh, way the blue highlight it, you know it spices up the video just a little bit but in my case what I think it looks uh, the best is obviously the uh, remove yellow cast right here so obviously if you say like I'm not happy with any of the presets you can just press uh, the drop down menu and put this one on default and right here we have three uh, color uh, corrector mixers uh, the low the mid and the high now let's say that you want to have a little bit more blue into the screen you can drag this guy into the blue obviously the mid tones you can choose uh, what kind of colors you want if you want to have like a kind of a blue theme that's really not a problem you can just drag those guys into the blue and obviously the highlights you can choose anything else than blue I think you know mixing yellow with blue looks pretty cool but let's say that we're gonna put everything to blue a little bit more it makes the screen look a little bit bit colder obviously because blue is actually looking you know pretty cold but if we bring everything up to the red part of the mixers it's gonna you know make the video a little uh, look a little bit more warm like I said guys if I close down this this looks pretty cool and that's how you change up a really basic stock footage to a uh, nice cinematic uh, you know field and just a nice cinematic clip in general so this is how to create an awesome uh, Hollywood effect obviously you can download lots of presets and apply them because I if I you know undo all the effects that I applied on it what we can do is we can go to effects on the uh, clip of the stock footage we can go to effects tab and obviously all the presets that you have installed externally will pop up right here and we can obviously uh, choose turquoise glare with letterbox if you click on add click on OK 
okay as you can see this one looks really cool and if we just uncheck the cookie cutter it's obviously going to show the black bars and you can choose and you can also edit you know this uh, template you can choose uh, many different colors and this is basically how to create an awesome hollywood effect so that's it for this video that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, tomorrow on sunday with how to make an awesome outro so make sure to stay tuned and i will see you guys tomorrow just alex halford